Joining me now here on the MMA Report is a man who returns to competition here at Combat Zone, Tim Karen. Tim, as always, man, I appreciate the time. Uh, looking to bounce back. I, is that kind of the, the about the best way to kind of describe, uh, you know, the mindset heading into this fight? Absolutely. Um, I'm hungry. I need, to, I need to get back on the winning side of things. It's been a long time. It's been since April that, we, that I lost, got that loss, so it's time to... Uh, Time to come back and show people what I what I got. Is it one of those things that you kind of feel like you know people are you know like now that you're not undefeated, maybe people don't view you the same way, and maybe this is a fight to kind of say you know look what you thought of me before, I'm still here and I'm even a better version of myself. Uh, maybe some people, but I think most people know what what my talent level is and uh, what happened last fight. Just I mean, everybody gets caught once in their life, so. <laughs> It was just. It won't happen again. <laughs> How many times did you go back and, and watch that, or is it one of those things that you watched it once and like, boom, I'm done. I've seen what I, the error I made. I've moved on. No, I watched it a few times. I, I wanted to learn um, what what the heck went wrong, um, and obviously I did. Um, I, I made one mistake, and I've been working on it since. I, I, I found some holes in my game, and I, I'm gonna make them better. So. I know you're always, you know, you're putting tweaks in your in your game. Um, ha- have you found yourself making more tweaks than maybe you normally would uh, in preparations for this fight? Um, no, uh, it's been a steady flow. Just, I mean, uh, the last seven f- or the seven before the last loss, <laughs> uh, I've been doing pretty good. So um, it's a good training regimen that I have. I'm sticking with it. Um, obviously, from the last fight, I've, I've picked and choose what what to work on more. But I still work on everything. So you mentioned about the length, uh, you know, of how long it's been since you've been in competition. Um, is it kind of just been like a, a really a long type of camp, just getting ready for this matchup? No, not at all. Um, it, it, it is. It was a competition in when was it, April, but it's it's always a, it's a competition every day with myself to be better. So um, I just keep going in the gym. I, I haven't stopped training. I continuously go. So there's not there's not really camps for me. It's it's more just it's upping my strength and conditioning. That's really it. Everything else is a steady flow. It's uh, a lifestyle. Take, he, take <laughs> taking on Mitch here. Um, he he's got a lot of fights, but uh, you know people can look at his record and and see <clears throat> things have not gone well for him. The, the, you know um, the past couple of years. How, how do yeah. you, you know, when, when you're facing a guy that has not had success, how do you assess their abilities? Well, I mean, he's coming out. I know he's going to be headhunting. He, this will be a huge win if he beats me. So uh, I think he knows that. It's been a solid camp for him if he's doing camp. Um, we, we've known about this fight for a while. So I, I expect him to come out and be ready to fight me. Um, so... He, he's got 17 wins, so that's a lot more people than I've even fought. So you never know what could happen. <laughs> do, do you think it's one of those things where he could be coming in like, man, I've got nothing to lose, and, and maybe he's more, uh, you know, oh, you know, free willing, throwing maybe you know certain things that say if you were fighting a guy that let's say was seven and one like you would not be kind of that open and maybe that aggressive. Absolutely, I think he's going to be coming out strong. Um, he's like you said, he has nothing to lose. Um, and I have a lot to lose. So, <laughs> uh, I, it's not, it's, he's going to come out strong and I'm just going to have to be ready for it. And, but he better be ready for what I got to bring too. So, <laughs> you know, in, in a perfect world, uh, do, do you, how, how do you see this fight going down? Oh, yeah. there's a few things that I have two separate things. Uh, one's the ground and one's the stand up. Um, I, he's, he's only five ten. Um, I can kick pretty high. So five times easy to kick up to the head. I'm, I'm expecting one of my kicks to land um, and put him out. But if that doesn't happen and he wants to be on the cage with me and try to take me down, he's going to get reversed and he's going to get bear trapped. Uh, in the bear trap. Of course, we all know that being the nickname. Uh, you know, who, yep. who, are, who are some of the guys that uh, you know, have really uh, been instrumental in, in getting you ready for this matchup? Um, a lot of schools actually uh, have – have let me come in. Um, obviously, Nate Lamont at Team Burgess. That's my home gym. Uh, him and Ryan Sheeting and Ryan Fenley, they're all teaching me a lot of things. Um, I, I spy with Greg Rebello occasionally. Um, 
me and him love going at it with each other. He's he's a really nice guy. Um, I I get to go to Tim Barshard's in Derry now, and there's just monsters at that gym, choking me out every left and right. <laughs> so I learn a lot from them. Um, and obviously my manager Tyson, who brings me everywhere that he's allowed to go, he can bring me. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, in terms of Gray, we know he likes to uh, he likes to be the jokester. Now, have you ever pulled a joke off on him, though? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not that good yet. Um, he's he's much better at it than I am. <laughs> in, in terms of of life outside of fighting, what's what's been going on the past couple of months? Ah, uh, you know, I just work. I train. Um, I got married in between from now until then. <laughs> From my last fight, I was married. I went on the honeymoon, bachelor party, all that fun stuff. We've all been there. Uh, what's, what's your wife think about you being a fighter? Uh, <laughs> she, I think she's mixed feelings. She, she's definitely supportive. Um, she, watch, she, she, she has a few uh, Jack and Cokes and then closes her eyes through her, and watches through her fingers. But <laughs> <laughs> she, she's definitely very supportive of it. I, I could definitely go for a Jack and Coke. I, I've been known to, to partake a little bit. Uh, you yeah, know, it, it, that's can, can you know? Is it what? Can she be the loud, uh, you know, spouse that, that's cheering you on at any point? I mean, you know, she's kind of mentioned, you know, you know, up and down with you with that. But do sometimes oh, you hear her in the audience? Uh, no, uh, she, she does scream. I know that. Um, she she comes back with no voice sometimes. But uh, I'm trained pretty well to just listen to. Two people, and that's my corners. I don't need to hear anything else other than that. So, <laughs> you mentioned about you know you have the daytime job, but you're also uh, getting the training in. So, how do you balance that? Of you know getting the training in, you know obviously doing your job, but also uh, you know being a husband. It's tough. Um, it's it's time management. I've I've become very good at it over the past eight years that I've been training. So, but it's it's what I love to do. So you, you guys just find time to do it all. Now, now, when you have that that free moment, is there a, a go to television show you like just to kind of sit back and watch and to just kind of get your mind off the fight game? Uh, there's quite a few actually. <laughs> now that the season started again, but um, I'm a big CW fan. I love Arrow, uh, Flash, all them uh, DC shows. Um, Gotham is awesome. That's what I like to sit down. It's Supernatural. That's I haven't started Stranger Things two yet, but I hear great things. <laughs> My wife actually watched that, so I actually started watching that with her. But do, do you are you kind of like myself? You find yourself like you go to that DVR and you've got like you know thirty shows that you haven't watched that like for like three or four weeks ago. Yeah, you gotta. There's another time management. You gotta find a day <laughs> and just bust them all out. <laughs> uh, I was in front of my DVR the other day, and I'm like, Jesus, I have not watched TV in several weeks. Uh, but I get, yeah, that's always a good thing. That, that means uh, that you're busy. But as you right. start to kind of, uh, you know, we're getting here to, to the end of 2017, uh, have you allowed yourself to start thinking about 2018 and, and goals that you want to achieve next year? Of course. Uh, I want to get through this fight. I need to get back that W back first. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Obviously, I want the bigger shows still um i'll be eight and one i'll be eight and one i'll just say it <laughs> <laughs> and that's a pretty solid record um especially in the 185 division i think it's a, it's uh it's not how do i say this it's not overly um what am I, what's the word i'm thinking of <laughs> I, I i think in talking to promoters <laughs> when they talk about the tough divisions to scout and find talent right. 185 know. is one of those divisions a- a- 85, 205, and heavyweight seem to be the – anytime I talk to promoter, I say, hey, what, what's the toughest divisions to find guys in? Yeah. Those are the three divisions, you know, and, and right. I mean, I mean, look at Bellator. I mean, Bellator has struggled at 185 for years. You know, they're starting to yeah. try, try to build that up. But, you know, as 2018, is maybe the biggest goal about just being more active and having more fights? Absolutely. Um, two fights in a year is, is a little less than I'd like. <laughs> Um, but with everything going on this year with the, the marriage and everything, it, it's kind of how it had to work out. So I'm hoping for at least four, four or five fights next year. Um, and just stay on track after this fight, not weaning off and hopefully January or 
and then in February, I don't care. <laughs> I just want to fight. So. But but is the, is a positive aspect of that? I mean, it sucks that you didn't get the winner earlier this year, but is a positive aspect that it, it just allowed more time for you to look at yourself and, and and understanding what you needed to to make changes in your game. Absolutely, uh, I was it was it's a huge weight off my shoulders as well. Um, just not being undefeated anymore. It takes a lot of pressure off. Uh, it's kind of a good feeling. I, I mean, it sucks to lose, but <laughs> I just know not to do it again. Did, did you feel a lot of pressure, you know, having an undefeated record? Absolutely. Uh, everybody just everybody talked about, uh, and that's what I wanted to keep. I wanted to keep that rolling, but that, that pressure weighs on you. <laughs> Is there such a thing as no pressure as a fighter? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, there's always people watching you that are, that you don't want to let down, so that pressure's yeah. always there. But, of course, you got the fight here coming up at Combat Zone. Tim, as always, I appreciate the time, and let everyone know they can uh, follow you out on social media. Absolutely. Thank you very much for the time. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, uh, Tim the Bear Karen. Same with uh, the other one, Instagram. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a tweeter yet. Uh, I've been saying that for a couple of years now, but <laughs> I got to get back. I got to get on that. <laughs>